saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamum. This is John Hampton with Ryland Television. Today I'm bringing you our sixth lesson on the book of Revelation, the first chapter of the book of Revelation. Uh, today's lesson is called The Seven Church Ages. And so we're taking our text today from verse 11 of chapter 1, where he writes, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Laodicea, rather. So, just let you know that uh, these are actually seven churches that were in uh, John the Revelator's time. And they actually all got a copy of the words that were written in the book of Revelation. Of course, the person that says, I am Alpha and Omega, and then he proceeds to say the rest of the content of this verse, is, of course, the I am Jesus the Christ, speaking to John the Revelator, telling him to write these things down. So, uh, we all know that these were actual seven churches in Asia in John the Revelator's time. However, as you know, a lot of uh, the information in the book of Revelation also points forward to things that are to come. All of these seven churches represent seven church ages. And I'm not going to get into detail on that at this time uh, because, uh, we, as you know, we have uh, a specific message that John gives each of the churches coming up in chapters 2 and 3. And at that time, we will also study what each church age that represented by that church has had a significance for the church of the Lord as a whole. So, stay tuned for that. And, of course, uh, next week we'll be looking at Golden Candlesticks and the Man. And Lesson 7. Now, of course, as you know, most of the book of Revelation things are going to happen in the end of time. After the church is called away in the rapture so just let you know that uh if you're not saved if you're not a christian you will be living through some of the bad things that are to come that we'll be reading about in later lessons if you'd like to get saved have uh, god in your heart and live a christian life and uh, avoid the bad things that are to come you can get saved by asking god to forgive you of your sins and getting into your heart. Uh, if you uh, click the link up in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now, that'll carry you to a series of lectures I did on the Romans Road to Salvation that give you specific verses to show how you can be saved. Well, for uh, Rylan Television, this is John Hampton. Have a great day and God bless.